another channel as you can see today we're not at the office this is another side video we are posted at Obodan this is up there a in Sawam stretch very 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 close to Grey City and as you can see behind us we have a client's property and today engineer Desmond is here with me to you know speak on it because there are some problems some structural defects some issues with the finishing just if something is not right so today we're going to do a full tour and then speak on these things hello sir hi how are you I'm good in yourself I'm doing very well so first of all you use the the term structural defects yes please um, as as we hear we are not here for structural defects okay uh, structural defects in construction is a huge it's word broad, it's right? broad and that's not what we're here for okay but we are here to so what happened was the clients saw some of our videos our finishes okay. and decided to bring us over to do a tour, to be able to advise on the finishing and all. Okay. So we are going to be doing a lot more. Okay. I don't know if we can do it within a day. Hopefully. But <laughs> just let's go. Okay, guys. So, come along. so, so first stop. This is supposed to be the entrance way okay. into the whole the property. Property. Okay. This is my first bet. Should I go for a design like this? If it is yes, if you look at it critically, yeah. the, the, the whole design is not straight. Exactly, it's tilted. And it's, now, if you look at this corner, it will give you a better picture. This place is out. This place is, is almost it. chopped off. Yeah. It tells you that we have issues with alignment. Okay. These are the reasons why we always advise that getting engineers, yes. we are able to do the job better than True. a mason. True. A mason will tell you I can do it. You look at the plastering, no gauges were placed and then they were just done. However, wow. at this stage, we are here to advise. Some of these pillars, we are going to collapse them. We <laughs> have to be able to get better pillars to be able to sink with the building. Okay. So you can still do round pillars, mm -hmm. but you don't need all these ones. There are places where we need them. Because if you look at the front, which will be projected uh, perhaps uh, as we are speaking, okay. realize that it doesn't sink. It's making the, the front look funny. I see. Again, let me also state this. Mm -hmm. Now, people building on slopey sides, mm -hmm. who would want to have a basement whatsoever? There yeah. are various ways. Don't leave that particular aspect to masons. Okay. There is what they call the cut and fill, which mm -hmm. we'll talk about in previous uh, in, in next episodes. Okay. And then how to be able to construct a retaining wall mm -hmm. to ward off the, the load that will be coming. So there's a whole of technicality sure. uh, that goes with uh, all those things. And we That's need true. to be careful. That's true. Because where we're standing, we can be able to utilize the base. Yeah. But portions of it, it has just been filled with material which could have been used for something effective. That's true. Just for my curiosity, before we move on, you said you were, we might, if we take on the job, we might collapse, uh, collapse these pillars. How is, how is that going to work though? Because I know that the pillars, you know, hold the building. Yeah. How are you going to collapse it and then reconstruct it again? That is where engineers come in. Okay. Now I can tell you there are times when we can even hang the building. Oh. So if we want to even add on to this building, mm -hmm. we can still be able to hang the building as a standing, dig under the foundation, okay. do an addition and still add on. Oh. So there are a lot of things we do in construction, but it's not everybody who have those technical expertise yeah. to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. And there's a way we do it. You don't do everything at once. Yeah. You hang certain sites, you create the foundation, you fill it, make sure the hardcore, everything is, is well compacted. Yeah. You move to another side, you do it till it's everywhere all all. Is, is done. I so see. we'll be able to hang and then remove the pillars and do something better over here. Interesting. Okay, now let's get to the So we have front um, a door and a half over here, which okay. leads us into the building. Okay. Now, right from here to this place, we are having a four inch. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be between four to six inches. Okay. But you can see that once we have screening, and tied in looking at the where the door is yeah we are going to have obviously a six inch over here okay i know people are going to ask me about these doors <laughs> i can tell you from a technical standpoint some of these doors are cheap but you have to be changing them every two to three years that's not good they are not durable most of these doors and i'm not here to promote anybody's product yeah but i can tell you always get high quality doors. Of course, right. Even if you are to buy from China, mm -hmm. we have various grades. Mm -hmm. Buy the highest grade because right. as we speak, the architecture that you have here is already built into the wall. However, when I knock, 
You can still hear it. Yeah. If it were to be a proper metal, I can't be it able won't to lock. Be. Okay. Exactly. So these are a few things we are also advising the clients on. Mm -hmm. Some of these doors we have to remove them totally and, then and replace, then replace them. them. Okay. Let's move. Okay. So where's this? Is this a living area? This is a living area. Okay. Now, my first bet. And again, unfortunately, um, the plastering, the sites and all, we need to be able to work on a few things. Yeah. Fortunately for us, they haven't done the wiring whatsoever okay. yet, so we are able to do it. Okay. Now, when you enter, we are presented with a TV area. That's over there. Over there. But there's a door right there. Exactly. So I'm going to expl explain all that. Now, this door shouldn't be here. Whoever designed this made a huge mistake because right. the, this whole angle here becomes waste. You are unable to use it for anything. Sure. We need to shut this door. Why would you need a one and a half here mm -hmm. and a one and a half here? Again, yeah. I realized that per the architecture, those who did what they did, yeah. getting to this place, first off, I don't know why we have this wall protruding. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask, what's the purpose? Again, we have this stair. So this stair, because you're supposed to have this supposed to be 300, mm -hmm. which is one foot, okay. not 300. So you already have two uh, feet already taking the space yeah. in the hall, making the hall very small. Very small, that's true. Now the question is, where is going to be, where are we going to have the dining? Then I come here, I see <laughs> another space here, okay. which, is, which is waste. What? what? How? Why? So I'm going to explain <laughs> what we are going to be doing. Okay. Now, this whole wall over here okay. will have to go down. This whole side. Now, if this whole wall goes off, mm -hmm. it will make the hallway bigger. Bigger. True. Wider. True. Because this space will be connected to this space. Exactly. Okay. And you can even choose to have either a mini bar over here, yes. either a place for us to sit, nice. to eat, at least to yeah. be able to mitigate the space that mm -hmm. we have here. Mm -hmm. So, this wall will have to go. Again, we have this whole space over here. What's this meant for? Well, I can see a pipe here. Let me assume it's supposed to be a laundry. But why would you leave this whole space? This whole space and then come and have this tiny exactly. corner. So this is my best bet. Oh. When I spoke with the client's wife, she mentioned, I want a bigger kitchen. Okay. This wall will go down. That means this is connected to the kitchen. Exactly. So when, when this wall goes down, you join this wall to this space. Yeah. Now you add this, let me now take you to the kitchen. This space. To the kitchen over here. Oh, I see. So it means that the kitchen will now become bigger. Big, way bigger. And wider. And this? Is a storage. But how? <laughs> this is baffling. How is there a storage here? And then they demarcate another portion and then there's extra space in the front. This is just poor use of space. So that's why we are we are always here to be able to manage the space. Again, wow. we also want to create a laundry. A laundry, okay. So How do we do that? This is what we're going to do. This door over here mm -hmm. should lead us into the laundry. Okay. It shouldn't lead us outside, into another to the outside. Backyard. Yes. So this space here is big enough mm -hmm. to house a laundry. That's true. We will block this space. Mm -hmm. Now you are in your laundry. True. We can equally choose to now, if we want to even have an outside door, mm -hmm. create a door, one door here, outside to this place. Okay. Because this is after this door is it's, gone. It's gone. Okay. Because you see, outside here, we have three doors. Mm -hmm. There is one here, there's one and a half here, there's another one door here. That's too many doors. Exactly. And you wouldn't want to have too many openings into your house. True. Again, to manage space, what would we, we be doing to, to this place when we, we shut it? Come, let me show you. Okay. In modern contemporary building, uh -huh. We are trying to take away corridors. Okay. Because corridors are spaces which are unused. Exactly. They only be, they are only passages. Yeah. Now I spoke with the client. Look at this whole space. Put a wall here. Okay. Put a door here. Mm -hmm. This is your office. Nice. You have a window here. So you will be able to have an office in your house 
by utilizing this space. That's a great idea. So that door will be gone. That door will also be gone. We'll have a nice little window. Exactly. You have your, your office here. That would be wonderful. Have a nice little setup in here. That's it. This space has been used. Exactly. And then we come to this little We portion. come to this space also. What is happening here? Why don't you create a library over here? Huh. The kids in the house will be able to use this space as a library. That is we, wonderful. We are going to use every, every single space. inch of this property. That makes so much sense. Then you have space for, you know, good things, not just passages that are just lying waste. Thank you. Wow. Now, over here we have a, a bedroom with okay. this washroom. Okay. Then we are also confronted with another small washroom. It is supposed to be the visitor's washroom. That's tiny. Tiny. It only has um, a wash and basin, mm -hmm. uh, a water closet, and there should be a mirror over here. That's it. Now, what will happen is that you wouldn't want stench mm -hmm. from here, Coming getting into here your living into your room. living room. Yes. So what are we going to do? We are going to create a vent at the top. Push the vent inside. Okay. So as soon as you get here, as soon as you put on this light, mm -hmm. because this place already doesn't have any windows. That's true. The place will always be dark. Exactly. As soon as you put on your light, mm -hmm. the vent is ignited. It opens up. So the vent is already uh, uh, fired up. Yeah. Anything you do here, it goes, is kind of the same. Oh, that's house. amazing. So that you are able to use the space without any sweat. No that's spider. wonderful. Because me personally, I don't like washrooms without windows. Okay. It's never in, on, a, it's on head of. So that vent would be very, very, very effective. And Absolutely. it would make a lot of sense. Absolutely. Wow. Then we have the final bedroom over here. Okay. Now, what, we're trying, to, what we're trying to do is to be able to ensure that we are having wardrobes in the rooms. In those wardrobes. In those wardrobes. Okay. And in this in this case, we are doing something with it at the decade. We'll have a whole huge wardrobe over here, mm -hmm. including the doorway. Okay. So that we are able to use the whole space very well. I see. And we'll have TVs in the in the in the bedroom so that okay. you're able to so the bed is going to be here, the switches are going to be here so that mm -hmm. you have your fan, your ACs, you are going to do all those things. So what yeah. we're going to do first is that we have identified the breakings that we have to do. Mm -hmm. We have identified the modifications that we have to do. Yeah. All those things are the primary things we are going to do first. Okay. Then we will now go to electrification, mm -hmm. to plumbing, mm -hmm. to finishing, mm -hmm. and then we'll be advising the client as we move. I see. Can I ask about the walls though? Because I, I feel some wetness in it. What are we looking at? Well, so you see, there's a reason why I always say that get the experts involved. Yeah, yeah. So some of these walls are quite porous. So when the water hits it, it's coming in. Right. We we'll use chemicals. We're going to treat all, all of them. Wonderful. Uh, with, from the external portions mm -hmm. to the internal, internal walls, walls that we have over okay. here. And we are also in talks with the clients. There are some of the walls that we may have to chisel down wow. and replaster, okay. especially the exterior portions mm -hmm. because they look very undulate. Yeah. They are not straight. Yeah. It makes the building look a bit funny. Yeah. But <laughs> you will we'll be able to do all those repair works. Okay. Uh, but it's going to be systematic. Okay. So first of all, the idea is that we want to now utilize the spaces, mm -hmm. make sure that we have had ample space yeah. in the building. Mm -hmm. Once the client is satisfied, now we'll now hit the other aspects, plumbing, electrification, yeah. uh, getting proper doors, mm -hmm. chiseling the walls, doing what they have to do. Okay. We'll come to skimming to finishes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, There's a lot to be that done. we're going to be doing okay. here. And everything has been planned out. Exactly. So Wonderful. we are now here to see the before, we see the after. We'll see the after too. Oh, how about the ceiling? Is everything intact? Um, we, in fact, the ceiling as well, they are not that straight. We, we ideally were thinking of using plaster boards. Okay. Plaster boards are going to expose the works that have been done before. Mm -hmm. We can sometimes be able to marry it with uh, plaster de Paris, POP. Okay. Yeah. If you're able to marry it with POP, you are able to straighten the noggings that you have already. Okay. So we are in talks. Mm -hmm. Again, the, the, the client also wanted a very high headroom. Okay. You know, the normal head is supposed to be three meters, six, ten feet. Mm -hmm. We will still see if we can be able to get something Extended. because okay. we, we, we don't have, the screed has not been done yet. Mm -hmm. 
So that's why you can see the exposed pipes over here. Yeah. So we still need to have the screening done, mm -hmm. the tiling so, so. done. So that's going to take about an inch or maybe two inches. Okay. So this will go. The, the, the ground will go. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And because of the ceiling, uh, because of how uh, it's not straight, because it's you see the middle has yes. has has fallen down. Yeah. We will now have to go for POP. Mm -hmm. They're going for POP. That's, that will also take some space down. So there are a lot of things we are going to be doing. See. But fortunately for us, we are at a stage where we can be able to make changes. Yeah. And the client is willing to make changes. So we will be able to advise mm -hmm. if we can be able to push the pellings a bit up so we are able to have a higher headroom. Mm -hmm. When you have a higher headroom, yeah. your room is warmer for you. That's true. And it even gives it gives it the look that the room is more spacious exactly. the higher the ceiling you feel like okay high towers you feel like you're living in greece so exactly. i know the greece buildings <laughs> have high towers but how did the client find us though the client found us on our videos on youtube oh nice yes. okay. and um, this is where we are today so we are actually working on all these things. The client actually wants to see mm -hmm. what we are able to turn the place into. into. Hence, we are here to do the before, yeah. during, and after. Okay, so would you advise that for our viewers that are watching, is it always good to go in for experts? Because right now that he's going to remodel the whole place, it's going to cost more, isn't it? Well, let me answer this question this way. There is one thing about construction. Yeah. If you don't do it right today, you spend twice the amount to do it tomorrow. Yeah. For example, I'm, I'm talking about plastering. Yeah. So, some of the plastering that we have to chisel off, mm -hmm. the one to chisel will have to be paid. <laughs> we have to erect a new scaffold for them okay. to stand on to chisel it out. Wow. The cement, the mortar, the labor that you paid before, yeah. you will now have to pay again. again. Again, the amount you paid previously, you will not be paying more than what you paid previously. Yeah. Again, after we have chiseled it off, what happens is that because it's repair work, yeah. there are going to be other things that will be unveiling themselves. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen most of the acts are not properly straightened. Yeah. So we have to now look at areas where we have to break areas you have to chisel, it means that there is more money more and more and more that you are going more. to invest to be able to get exactly what you want. Wow. That is mind-blowing. That's why I always, literally in all of our videos, we are always telling you, it's best to go in for the experts. And Mason might know what they're doing, but at the, at the end of the day, if something goes wrong, you're the one that's going to be paying dearly. So always go in for experts. And now he has come to Royal Kingdom Estate, and we're going to be doing what? Damage control. <laughs> <laughs> but that's nice. I think somebody may be wondering, this is how many bedrooms are in here? It's a three-bedroom apartment, three bedroom. Okay. but he has other apartments as well but what he wanted to do first is for us to be able to finish this one mm -hmm. and once we are done with this we have other ones then we'll be able to roll in okay wonderful when are we starting the repair work so um per is in fact let me also state this mm -hmm. the client is the highest person in the building chain okay so until the client says start work mm -hmm. you cannot start work sure so what we're going to do is to present all our fact findings to the client. Okay. The client has the opportunity to be able to do an assessment yeah. and be able to now tell us when we should start okay. the project. Okay. Well, guys, there you have it. So we've gone through, we've listed some problems, some issues. You've seen it for your eyes. So when a client is ready, we'll definitely come in to do the repair work to fix the things that need to be fixed so that this building can be to his satisfaction and we're going to be taking you along the entire journey so stay glued for this one you see the building as it is so we're going to progress with all of you stay glued to the channel we'll definitely be back with more thank you